Hi, I'm Brian Govberg with Watchbox, and we are here today at Watchbox headquarters with Pierre Jacques, CEO of Debethune. Hi. Welcome to Watchbox headquarters. Uh -huh. Thanks uh, for invitation. No, it's our pleasure. We've got a lot of great watches here today on the table, which we'll get to show you. Talk about this one first because when the watch came out, I think it was a game changer for the brand, mm -hmm. both in, a st not necessarily aesthetic, because I think that this aesthetic was very much a Debethune aesthetic, mm -hmm. but more to the almost overall simplicity and to the price point was the Starry Various. So here we have the original Starry Various, which we can show, mm -hmm. uh, 42 millimeter in titanium. Yes with the fired blue dial. Yes, uh, titanium, titanium dial. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the original watch. Original one, high polished titanium, manufacturer caliber, uh, triple partial system, uh, balance wheel titanium and platinum, and the Debitim Constellation. You can, mm -hmm. uh, it's also a watch that you can easily personalize. Mm -hmm. um, We've so actually had somebody personalize one, mm -hmm. which was super special. Yes. So here we have the watch now in rose gold. Yes, this is a novelty, a novelty we introduced in, uh, in January. So basically it's exactly the same watch, but uh, with a new, uh, a new case in rose gold 5N. I think the combination of color with the blue dial and the rose gold mm -hmm. is really something that uh, uh, really uh, ma magnificent the, the watch. Yeah, no, and I think that as far as like a product extension goes, you know, if you were going to build another one, it's mm. it's it's definitely you know the next iteration that you would want because titanium and rose looks great, and you know rose by itself especially looks good with the blue. Yes, I know that you have a pretty exciting history with D Bethune. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your history with the brand, um, and you know how you found yourself in your current position, and you know how you think that this sets up D Bethune for an exciting future. So my history with D Bethune is. Uh Quite simple. I joined the company in 2011. Uh, the Betin uh, was founded in 2002. So um, I would say that uh, on the, the entire, entire life of the Betune, um, I have the position of uh, the Betune since uh, since about uh, yeah, eight years. Oh wow! Since two years, I become uh, one of the owner of the company. So um, so my position changed. A little bit, but uh, it's even much more exciting because, uh, um, as uh, I was very involved in the past, I feel much more involved and motivated for the future. No, I mean wh one of the things we're Debethun is near and dear to our hearts here at Watchbox. We mm -hmm. talk about it all the time on our shows. Uh, many of us, uh, Tim and myself in particular, are big fans of the brand. Uh, we love the aesthetics. We love that it really speaks to a watch enthusiast's imagination. But one of the things that we hear a lot is that a Debethune is not necessarily a watch buyer's first purchase. That this is somebody that's already found their way into watch collecting, they've made their, they've started their journey and then they find their way to Debethune. Maybe tell us a little bit about the, the Debethune collector and um, you know why they end up at this brand. To be simple, uh, typical uh, Debethune collector had already a long, long journey uh, in, uh, in his watch, uh, uh, in his watch uh, research. Uh, probably they, they get already many AP, many uh, Patek, many even Rolex in their collection. Uh, but uh, um, they discover that independent watchmaker, they bring something different. It's much more Exclusive is much more, is really different in terms of also of aesthetic. Um, difficult to, to explain, but uh, you drink uh, a heavy day, uh, you know, uh, coffee, maybe one day you, you just want to have a, a very, uh, um, uh, a very exciting cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know what, what can I tell you. No, I mean, I think that one of the special things about independent watchmakers is that it allows the collector, um, you know, a little bit different than some of the bigger brands, is to really almost feel like they are a part of the brand itself. They're they're able to meet with yes. Denny, uh, learn about the brand. Yes. They get to meet with you, and, and they, you know, they get brought into the, you know, to the to the Debethune mm -hmm. world, and it yes. makes that purchase. Uh, all the more exciting. So on the journey, uh, on the journey of uh, a watch collector, 
what uh, they, they, they bring a new uh, collector or customer to an independent watchmaker is probably the proximity that we can have with uh, our customer. Uh, it's also the, the facility uh, that uh, we can also um, respect the desire and work together creating exceptional timepieces and uh, also it's, a, it's an exchange of uh, mutual uh, um, wish, probably need and uh, so the, it's like, uh, yeah, I would not say only tailored, it's like, yeah, it's tailored. Tailor it's small production. I think that, you know, one of the things that customers don't necessarily realize is just how few watches get pr produced. Uh, so maybe tell us how many D. Bethune watches were produced in 2019 and what's expected in 2020. So 2019, the global production was 165 pieces worldwide. Uh, <clears throat> so yes, it's a... Uh, um, and to put that into perspective, a brand like Audemars Piquet is producing 40,000 watches per year. So, you know, when you think yes. 40,000 to 165, mm -hmm. you know, it's, there's, uh, it's, it's a, a different world. It, it's a different world, you know, and you, you know, you can't really even, you know, compare, compare yes. the two. Um, here's another special watch that's on the table. So this is a DB28, yes. but with a couple of improvements that yes. I'll let you tell us about. This is the, the new version of a kind of blue tourbillon. Mm -hmm. So you have a new aesthetic, uh, uh, for the floating lugs. So now the, this watch comes only with a medium size mm -hmm. lugs. The, the bullet uh, of uh, the lugs uh, are uh, slightly bigger than the previous one. We just want to, to, uh, to exaggerate the, this, uh, uh, this part of the, the lugs. The, is, is really the DNA of the, the brand, you mm -hmm. know, the, the bullets. And, uh, to me, when you see Dibethune or you think Dibethune, this to me is the watch that comes to mind. Yes. And we talk all the time about how one of the most important things in watchmaking now isn't necessarily, you know, the movement obviously is important, but if you can see a watch from across the room mm -hmm. and you know what it is, that that's one of the, the biggest battles. Mm -hmm. And that's what some of the biggest brands have been able to do is mm -hmm. you see a watch you don't need to see the logo on it. You don't need to really see anything else about it, but you see the case shape and you know mm. what it is. Mm. And one of the best things that I think Dibethune has done is that if you're into watches and you see this watch, you know exactly what it is. Yes. And, and to me, that's it's a super special and hard thing to do. Yes, exactly. You can see any Dibethune from uh, from 10 meters. You will know that it's a Dibethune. Uh, we even didn't tag or dial. You can see any uh, Dibethune logo on our dial. The only uh, space we uh, we use to to print our logo uh, is the the back of the buckle, mm -hmm. Ardillon. Um, why? Because uh, a debitune look like a debitune, and just uh, not look like any other watch. Mm -hmm. No, so I mean they're they're specific. magnificent pieces. Yes, and I think that Unique one design. of the other things that you know all brands do their best to get their messaging out to the clients. But one, to me, one of the most special things is actually I've met Denny mm -hmm. and that he's one of the best living watchmakers. Yes. And so I think that that's something that's super special is that when you look at these watches and you think like, oh my God, like, you know, some of them are crazy, you know, crazy pieces. They've got a very space-esque, it's, you know, aesthetic. Mm -hmm. um, that this is one of the best watchmakers in the world, mm -hmm. coming up with the, you know, coming up with these creations and then bringing them to life in yes. only 150 watches. Mm -hmm. So, to me, that's everything that watchmaking is about. And you know, I, you know, I, I, I love them. And you know, with such a small quantity, there's no reason that, you know, so you right. shouldn't all be flying. <laughs> you're right. That, <laughs> no, uh, Denis Flaget is really like a. a a living icon of uh, uh, watchmaking. He's uh, one of the greatest watchmakers. Not the only one. You you have a couple of them who are uh, exceptional too. But uh, uh, in the background of uh, Denis Flagellet, you really have um, this, uh, um, this, the, this culture of watchmaking. Uh, you know, you cannot make a, a hand like we we, uh, we are making without any uh, knowledge, any culture. He really mm -hmm. uh, took a, a many information, uh, you know, uh, from the past, but but not only that, he's also 
uh, someone who is very inventive, creative, and uh, very technique. He's, a, he's a, a real engineer, not only a watchmaker, he's an engineer. And um, so um, the Bethune is really the, the perfect blend between uh, avant-garde innovation uh, and, and technique and um, also tradition. Mm -hmm. So the Bethune is, I will say, uh, I will not invent a word, but you can just say that the Bethune is a uh, tradivation, is tradition and innovation. Mm -hmm. It's really the, 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 the mix of these two uh, important uh, elements. And what I, what I also appreciate is that these watches are made as good as they can be made. You know, yes. every detail is thought out from the, the hands to the dial to the numerals to the shape of the case to how it feels on the wrist. And in an age where, you know, big group brands are extracting as much quality from a watch as they can in order to offer the same product, but, you know, make more money, you've got the independents that are coming up with new and exciting things and, and really, you know, producing product as good as it can possibly be produced. And I think that when you hold something like this in your hands, if, you, if you've never had the opportunity to do so, um, you can't help but say, you know, oh my God, because yes. they're, they're that nice. It, it's the reason of uh, uh, the Bethune is doing what we're doing. Uh, it's not, we want to, it's not doing more, but it's doing better. Mm -hmm. uh, simply less is more and, mm -hmm. uh, um, and you know, we're only producing 160 pieces. So then we have all the time to, to take care of every single detail and to finish uh, every, even there is no one spring, not one screw, not one wheels that is not really uh, finish perfectly. We really push all the details to the limit. And uh, what is what we, we're doing is the reason what we are doing that. And uh, it's also, uh, yeah, it's a passion for all people who work uh, in the factory and especially for Denis. What are a couple of things that Dee Bethune is doing in 2020 and the future in order to reach both younger customers and customers that are looking consistently for, you know, new and exciting things? So. We, we adapt to that. Uh, we, we bring uh, novelty uh, every every three months, mm -hmm. uh, three four months. We can with a new proposition. Uh, we have I bring a couple of uh, novelty with me uh, right now. Of course, it, it's challenging, but it's also the, the reason um, um, of uh, independent and small factory mm -hmm. is to to react faster. We are really able to to react faster to this demand of uh, of change. And that's one of the things too, where you're able to receive feedback from clients, collectors, retailers. And when you're only producing, call it 150 watches or less per year, you're able to tailor the next year's watches to the feedback you receive. Yes. So if it's making a watch thinner or smaller, or changing the lugs or changing the dial, yeah. you know, you're not having to worry about changing 20,000 units. It's much more easier to adapt. But it's also a challenge because as we are very small, all this change, of course, is uh, costly. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Uh, and uh, so sometimes it's frustrating that we, we develop a, a completely new caliber from A to Z. And we know that we probably just deliver 50 pieces mm -hmm. of this caliber. So it's a, a, a lot of uh, work and of energy that you know that you will just uh, I will not say, uh, say spend because it's uh, uh, the reason we, we're doing this, uh, this job, but uh, it could be frustrating to, to develop a, a caliber for, to make a 20, 30, 20, 40 30 watches. watches. I can take an example, the, the wonderful World Traveler and GMT watch we did, probably we, we deliver less than 10 pieces, okay. and it took us years and years of development just to, to create this, uh, uh, complication is one of the most complicated the between we we achieve and um, the, the global I love that watch yes it's beautiful and very interesting watch but we uh, till today in five years we produce uh, less than 10 of oh, these wow. species so get them while you can <laughs> um, and you know as I said at the beginning we're big believers in the brand and you know we've you know we've done our best to get behind independence and, mm -hmm. and 
support them over the years and um, and also trade in their watches in the secondary market. And you know, we're big believers in the you know in the future outlook of, of yeah. where Debitin is going to go. Yeah, thank you very much. And I know that you do a great, great job. Thank you uh, yourself. Uh, also, the great report of uh, Tim Mosso and uh, the incredible that Watch, uh, Watchbox is doing. And uh, we can uh, really see that uh, since two, three years that you, you support us, that the, the value of the secondary market, uh, not only of the Betune, but of uh, many other brands, really going up. And uh, um, the same for the Betune. So yeah. thank you very much. My pleasure. To What's about you? And thank you for joining us. Again, we've got Pierre Jacques from Debethune. My name is Brian. This is Watchbox. Thank you for watching. <laughs>